We get email, not just fewer, fewer feedback. Every day we get a lot of news releases from state agencies and one of them caught the eye of Marshall Zellinger, a nonchalant announcement about a missing device with radioactive material. Great Scott. I definitely made a back to the future joke or two when I saw this news release from the state health department about a stolen radioactive gauge used by an engineering firm. Wait, a, a radioactive what now? This type of gauge is a portable moisture density gauge. It's used often in road construction to test the moisture content or the compaction density for the paving or repaving operations. Phil Peterson runs the radioactive materials unit at the state health department. This company is required by regulation to notify us um, when they lose or have radioactive materials stolen. It turns out this type of device gets stolen often enough to be reported on around the world. New tonight, a radioactive theft. It's been stolen in Durham and it contains radioactive material. And it could pose a serious public safety risk if it's mishandled. It's fitting that last one is Nine News Australia because we get emails meant for them all the time. Wait, that's another story. Back to the future, I mean, back to the stolen radioactive gauge. If you put it up on eBay, <laughs> someone's going to notice. Jeffrey King is the director of nuclear science and engineering at the Colorado School of Mines. He can explain the radioactive contents that would look like small batteries, cesium-137 and americium-241. There is americium-241 in pretty much every household in the United States um, because it's also the isotope we use in smoke detectors. And cesium-137 is also fairly common as a um, industrial isotope. Perhaps scarier words than the true danger, even if this device were tampered with. If you were standing by it for 20 hours, that would be the equivalent of a chest x right? I have seen one of these gauges run over by a car, um, and the source was not damaged in any way. That thing was stolen out of a car near DU. It was locked up. And I'll tell you, based on the other stories of these types of items being stolen, it could be simply, hey, that thing looks expensive or worth something, especially because it's locked up, and maybe it's not being stolen for the materials, really. So the thieves probably have no idea what they have, or maybe not. Right, and if they yeah. don't, and then they start tampering with it, that's where that danger comes in. But you hear if you're around the tampered version, again, 20 hours, yeah. it's the equivalent of a chest extra. I don't want to mess with that. Yeah, but, but still, it's radioactive. All right, yeah. right on, Marshall. Thank you very much for that report.